Good morning and welcome back to Checking In With Ben. Today, I'm going to bring to you the Smith & Wesson Sigma 40 VE. Now, first thing we're going to do, as safety always, is we're going to make sure that it's not loaded. Nothing in the chamber. It's not loaded at all. You can see. All right. Now, after that, we can take a look at this. Now, Smith & Wesson came up with this. And to be honest with you, I might as well just give you the reel on the background of this Smith & Wesson Sigma 40 VE. First of all, the VE stands for Valued Enhancement or Valued Enhanced. That's really what it stands for, Valued Enhanced, in case you didn't know what that VE stands for. But it was created in 1994. The Sigma Corporation, you know, made this preset striker firing firearm. Uh, the mechanism is striker firing. And it also used the innovative synthetic materials, you know, which was the high strength polymer for the frame. And the pistol is similar to the Glock, which is a safe action pistol in both design and operation. So what happened is the Sigma series pistols were so similar to the Glock pistol that the Glock, Corporation sued Smith & Wesson for patent infringement. Now, the case was settled out of court in 1997 with Smith & Wesson agreeing to make alterations to the Sigma design and to pay an undisclosed amount to Glock. So, basically, you have a Glock pistol because everything is Glockish with it. You see the takedown, the whole nine is Glockish with it. Everything is. And um, I like it. The only thing that is a downside to this pistol is the trigger pull. Now, a lot of see the trigger pull, they got the unique trigger, where it's that is your safety. You have to press that all the way, and you see a little clip in there. And it depresses. And no, I'm going to bring it up so you can see it. You see it depress. And that will disengage and let it fire. Because it's a striker fired pistol. Okay. Let's get back to it. It's, the trigger is terrible. Had over a 10 pound pull. So. At the end of the day. You're going to have to change out the springs in there get you a better trigger pull so they do have kits that you can get and there's also there's a it's what you call a pick spring you can replace you can take that out you don't you don't even need that and you could and you could replace the other springs like there's two double springs in there because I've done this to this already and then you could just go ahead and either take off the one spring and just leave one or you could buy a little kit that has the springs that are different tension and you get a better trigger pull. But the pig spring itself is better known as the lawsuit spring because they put that extra spring in there. So this way, Glock could say, you know, be satisfied that it's not exactly a Glock, which of course it is. Look at the takedown. Look at look at it. It's a Glock. Look at the seat through with the dirt and grime can get out of there. You know, you, that, that's the whole thing. Now, I put this grip on here. Because the grip was terrible. You know, now the new models, the SD models, they got a better stipulation and stuff. So, but this is, this swells and it's nice and it, you know, it works. The sights, you know, they're adjustable. You can change the sights out. They're not, they're not night sights or anything like that. They're not. But, end of the day, it's reliable. Okay. And so, with that modification, you know, now it's not exactly Glock like quote, quote, but it takes 14 rounds and one in the head. Um, I got three clips there. That's all I need with this because this is, 
this is one of my oldest guns that I have. And um, it's reliable, it's never let me down. It shoots at the range, but it takes some real getting used to it because of the trigger. So once I changed out the springs and the trigger, I got a better pull, about a six and a half, seven. That's better than that over 10. So it is better, but with practice, you could go ahead and you could, you could hit your targets. But I just wanted to bring this one out because this one stays at home. You know, um, every now and then I take it out to the range, but I, I really don't. I just keep it clean and keep it, keep it ready. You know, because I have several others in my collection that is, that is there now. But overall, the ergonomics on this is great. It's a great shooter. I'm not going to even say it isn't. You know, um, I like it. Um, the, the proprietary rail right here, I'm really like, uh, you know, there's some attached, laser attached, there's some lights that are attached to that, but, you know, they should have put the Picatinny. But there's a proprietary rail, but other than that, you know, it got a little gripping right here. You know, I, you know, it, it's, at, some people say it's not concealable, per se, a concealment gun. But I think, you know, I've carried it and you can conceal it. You know, and like, and like I said, it's, it's Smith & Wesson. You know, it's true to what it's going to do. It's going to go bang. You know, so if you pull it out, be sure that you're going to be able to knock down whatever you got going on out there and defend yourself. Especially with 14 rounds and one in the head and you get some, you get some nice hollow points going on here, you know. It's a horn of these right there. You know, it's gonna open up, it's gonna, it's gonna do what it's supposed to do. You know, but I'm gonna go ahead and just sum this video on up because I just want to give a quick look at this, a little short, short review. I didn't take it apart or anything because you know, there's plenty of videos out there where they're taking it apart they they messing with the springs and all that. And like I said, this is a gun from 1994, you know, so it's an older gun. So, but just bringing it to you so you can see it. And see, like, look at the condition it's in. This is an old gun, but you know what? It's clean and it's ready. It's ready to go. It stays ready. All right. There you have it. The Smith & Wesson Sigma 40 VE. Valued Enhanced. This is Checking In with Ben. You have a good day.